Hey everybody, and welcome to Story Time with Pastor Tim. We are going to continue reading through the Spark Story Bible every day, and we'll do a new story every day. So yesterday we started off with creation. Today we're going to move on to Adam and Eve. If you have a, stork, a Spark Story Bible at home, I'd say go ahead and pull it out and you can follow along with me. You can po uh, pause this, obviously, and grab it. When you come back, we are on page 8, Adam and Eve. After creating the world, God looked around and was very happy. It was an incredible world filled with wonderful animals, plants, and included two very special people, a man and a woman. God made a beautiful place for the man and woman to live, an amazing garden. God named the man Adam and the woman Eve. God said to Adam and Eve, I need someone to help me take care of this amazing world. Will you help me? Do you understand that God is asking you to help take care of the world? It's kind of a crazy time going on right now. Are there ways you could help God take care of the world right now? Are there ways that you can help God take care of others? Afterwards, talk with your parents about ways in which you could help take care of somebody else. Let's continue. Adam and Eve said, sure, we'd love to help you, God. Adam and Eve were happy to care for God's beautiful world. All around them was incredible creation. Together, they walked around the garden amazed with what they saw. There were tall trees and short trees, fat trees and skinny trees. Wow, Eve, Adam said, look at this. There are flowers of every size and color. Amazing, Eve said to Adam, it's all so beautiful. There were still quiet blue pools and a rustling breeze that blew throughout the garden. Everywhere they looked, they saw an amazing world. When she looked at all of the animals God placed in the garden, the ones that fluttered through the sky, the ones that wiggled and squirmed across the ground, or the ones that frolicked and played across the land, Eve said, it's going to be hard to keep track of them all. There, can you see Eve and Adam, the man and the woman, looking at all the different various animals? What animals do you see on those pages? Can you name them all? Take turns if you're doing this with somebody else. Don't worry, Eve, Adam said. God asked me to give all the animals names to help us keep track and care of them all. This is a toucan and a chickadee and a monkey and a squirrel. Which ones were Adam talking about when he said a toucan, a monkey, a chickadee? and a squirrel. Can you find all of those in the picture? This tall creature is called a giraffe. The silly one with a long nose, she will be an elephant. And this one who wags his tail will be a dog, Adam said. Look, he follows me wherever I go. God watched over Adam and Eve as Adam shared all the names of the animals while they played with them in the garden. God was happy to see that Adam and Eve were taking such good care of everything in creation. What are some of your favorite things God, that God created? Ask your family members what their favorite things are. How many are the same of your, as yours? Here's the final picture. Can you name all of those animals in there? Also remember, God asks Adam and Eve, the man and woman, you and me, to take care of creation, to take care of each other. How are ways in which you can help take care of each other during this time? Could you draw a picture and mail it to somebody who maybe can't leave their house or to grandparents if you can't see them right now? Could you call somebody who needs to hear a friendly voice and needs a smile on their face? Think about all those ways with all those people you live with on how we can take care of each other during this time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. 
and look for a new story tomorrow. God bless.